I just wanted to let you know that in case you are planning a trip to the Grand Canyon, just know that you may run into issues if you have pets.
trying to get situated in the camp spot here at Grand Canyon and I had to pull in backwards so that my slider faces the picnic table. I don't want it to face the road. And I had already started setting up and I realized I wasn't in a good spot. And I forgot to move the Starlink out of the way and I backed over it. <laughs> I don't think they heard it though. Well, I guess we'll find out in a minute. A few minutes. Hey, Tumbleweeds. I wanted to tell you a little bit about what I ran into at the Grand Canyon, at the Desert View Campground specifically, that you might need to be aware of, especially if you're going there with pets. So I reserved um, a campsite at the Desert View Campground near the Desert View Tower within walking distance specifically for that reason um, so that I could leave Piglet in the van in air conditioning while I went and checked out the sites and uh, did a little hiking because I already knew that pets are not allowed on trails at the, at the Grand Canyon. So shortly after I pulled into my site and got set up it was really hot when we got there. It was 87 degrees, so it was hotter than that in the van. So I turned on that generator so I could run the air conditioner. And about 10 minutes later, the camp host came and knocked on my door and informed me that I can't run the generator during the day. <laughs> And I said, well, it's really hot in here. And she goes, yeah, I know, but people are sleeping. And she handed me the rules and regulations, which I had not been to check in yet, so I didn't have those ahead of time. And she pointed out that the generator times, uh, times that you can run a generator are 6, um, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. and 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. So that kind of ruined my plans to live piglet in the van. So I almost packed up and left at that point, but I, I wanted to see the Grand Canyon. And it was later in the afternoon and there wouldn't have been time to see much. So piglet and I suffered through <laughs> um, the heat. I had the back doors open and all the windows open and the fans blasting and it was still very uncomfortable and hot in there. And so I decided the next day we would just drive around and see the sights and uh, I would take Piglet where I could and, and then we would leave. And I thought, well, I'll just go back to the Sunset Crater Volcano campground which was a very nice campground and there's usually open spots there were when we were there be before we left for the Grand Canyon so so that was the plan so um, I did get to go see the watchtower I did I, I we went left really early in the morning and I did leave Piglet in the van with the windows open and the fan blowing and it was probably about eight o'clock in the morning. And I got to see the watchtower and check out the little gift shop, general store, whatever. I didn't go to the visitor center because I didn't want to leave Piglet in the van that long. And then we just drove uh, towards the Grand Canyon Village. And when we got to the Grand Canyon Village, um, I would have had a leaf piglet in the van <laughs> to go see anything. So we just turned around and we came back to the campground that you're seeing me at now, and which is very beautiful. You can see all the tall pine trees and it's just very quiet and peaceful here. And I got my solar panels going. I have to keep moving them around <laughs> because the, uh, the, of all the trees and the uh, movement of the sun. But you can see Daisy seems very happy here. So anyway, um, I just wanted to let you know that in case you are planning a trip to the Grand Canyon, just know that you may run into issues if you have pets. Amen. 
YouTubers are required to have a permit to film in the Grand Canyon. So I have put together a slideshow of photographs, which are pretty much just as good as video. So I hope you enjoy.